we have right here the brand new BMW 1 Series. This is the M135 2024 version or 2025 version actually. And in this video, it's all about driving. I will drive the car. I will give you all the feedback on how it's on the road plus some technical data. Of course, I will have a separate video on my channel if you want to see uh, the interior, exterior, a full static review. Definitely check out that video because there you can get more information about infotainment system, material quality and even more technical data. By the way, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, you want to see the car, you want to test drive the car, you want to buy the car, definitely check out Auto Care. I will leave the link in the description also on the screen so you can check them out easier. They already have the car and they have a nice discount. I will show you a little bit later what I'm talking about. Now guys, I have the most expensive version with me right here and also the most powerful version with 300 horsepower, 400 Newton meters. This is the M135, which look phenomenal. You can see here on the back also i like very much the new tail lights and also the the headlamps you will see it immediately when you lock the car or when you unlock it basically it has a nice playing design with the lights it has a nice graphic when you lock and unlock the car i don't think it works right now i have to be a little bit farther away but look at this when it locks and when you unlock the car it has a super nice playing design and they look so futuristic they look kind of 3d design also this is the only bmw 1 series which come with real exhaust pipes that you can definitely see here in the back actually they have the exhaust pipe but they are somewhere under the car around here under the bumper but this m135 is the only one that you can get with those exhaust pipes visible in the back which look phenomenal they are real they are four two on the both sides the car look fantastic also i love the spoiler up here which came a little bit upwards in the end i love it also 19 inch wheels on this version it comes from 17 it start basically from 17 but it goes all the way up to 19 on this version we have the 19 optional otherwise i don't want to talk too much about the exterior design but as soon as you check out the other video uh, you will find out all the information and right now when you unlock the car you can see also in the front it has the same nice playing graphic on the lights also beautiful bumper kidney grille a little bit smaller quite nice anyway matrix led headlamps on this version optional standard come with uh, led lights they are standard but those matrix LED headlamps they are optional this is the key probably you saw it also on other models uh, with the M colors on the side keyless entrance and all that stuff of course on the car I don't want to lose too much time talking about the car around inside because we will talk anyway in the review video this is the interior which look fantastic those seats come special on this m135 and the headrest it's integrated into the seat plus you have this illuminated the m badge here uh, alcantara in combination with leatherette on the side they look gorgeous gorgeous i really like them plus they are a little bit stronger the same as it should be on a sporty car the m badge on aluminium plate aluminium pedals electric adjustable seats let's go inside the steering wheel normally on the standard uh, versions on other versions come in uh, leatherette in artificial leather but this one it's real leather the quality it's insane you have the M badge you have this red uh, area here on the upper side you have the pedals here behind the steering wheel uh, you have the boost pedal which give you 10 seconds of maximum power and you also can change the gears manually from here even though it's an automatic it comes with an automatic transmission which i will talk in a second now guys i want to start the engine so you can hear a little bit how it sounds and then we will talk about technical data nice now anyway uh it sounds really really interesting and i kind of miss driving a pure petrol engine so i think in the future we will miss more and more because more and more they come like hybrid mild hybrid full hybrids and, and electric cars and i kind of miss i think it's a long time from when i drive last time a pure petrol car at least powerful like this with 300 horsepower and i was feeling that i don't know remember the good times if that makes sense for the petrol engines and bmw know how to make these cars in a big way anyway the car come with a head-up display directly on the windshield the new screen this is the os9 based on android uh, infotainment system it works really fine we will talk about that of course in the review video so definitely check it out also you can customize the screen in the front the way you want it i'm not going to play too much with it 
but I will explain you more the way it works in the review video. Here the center console, pretty simple, pretty clean. I love the way it is. This is the shift by wire transmission from here. You can change the speed. It has drive mode and S mode. You can put the gearbox in sport mode while you're driving. So to give you a little bit quicker response, electronic handbrake, start stop engine button. From here you can change uh, different settings on the car from driver assistance system, driver chassis and display. Uh, plus you can go to my modes. The car come with three different driving modes, efficient, sport, personal. We will try efficient and sport mode, both of them and I will tell you how the car reacts in those situations. Plus it comes with 360 degrees camera which is optional. We will talk about that of course in the uh, review video and you can see what happened around the car. Probably one of the best 360 degrees system out there. Plus it's capable to park itself. I will show you in a future video of course that uh, function. Now when it comes to price guys, at least here in Switzerland at Autofecare by the way, definitely check them out. They already have a discount 12,440 francs discount and normally the price because it's full option here in Switzerland the price are bigger 82,340 francs is the normal price with all the options uh, but because they have this huge discount and the car is basically new uh, you have a price of 69,900 francs so definitely if you want to buy the car check them out what it's optional are the 19 inch rims and the brake calipers and the color we have this Portillo blue metallic 1,100 francs anyway uh, panoramic glass roof driver assist professional which we will test the autopilot i will show you when we go on the highway and then we have the m sport package pro innovative package the heated steering wheel and so on so anyway more about that guys definitely check out in the review video because i give you more detail more explanation in details now when it comes to technical data this m135 X drive it's a four-wheel drive system It's the only four-wheel drive system which you can get on uh, BMW 1 series and it comes with a two-liter petrol engine four cylinders in line pure 300 horsepower 400 Newton meters connected with a seven speed dual clutch steptronic automatic transmission 0 to 104.9 seconds top speed 250 km per hour consumption around 7.6 liters around 8 liters 7.6 8.1 liter is the official number and the co2 emission 173 grams also it's four centimeter longer than the previous version which give you a better stability and also better space inside we will talk about that in the review video the ground clearance 15.6 centimeters but the turning circle 11.7 meter we will test this as well what it's very very important guys to point out is the fact that now this bmw not only the m135 but the bmw one series come with suspension suspensions were reworked with less rolling also the suspension the front suspension normally on the normal one series I come with frequency adaptive damping on the front adaptive suspension but only on the front they are passive not active but on this M135 it comes with frequency adaptive dampers on both axle front and rear also this suspension it's a little bit lower on this uh, M135 but you can get it optional with the uh, M Sport pack package on the other standard version so keep in mind that on this version it's a little bit lower and also it has adaptive damping I will explain a little bit more about that but let's drive now press the brake now we are in efficient mode what I notice put it in reverse the the mirror on the right side it will dim down so you can see a little bit better what happened in the back but you have these fantastic fantastic cameras great resolution also the sensors you probably know from bmw i like that the screen is tilted to the driver so you have a pretty good visibility i like that um, the steering wheel grip and size it's it's so nice it's typical bmw i really like this unique feeling when you're driving a bmw uh, also the driving feeling it's pretty smooth I like how silent inside the, the cabin is and I didn't check before but I'm curious they are not double glass but uh, from what I drive today um, it feels it sounds really good the sound insulation inside it's it's extremely good it feels like I'm sitting low because the suspension and this car it's set up a little bit lower and also the suspension are, are a little bit stiffer so it can give you that 
sporty great feeling and great stability on the road and i already feel that i uh, love the seats they hold you here you can adjust the side support you can adjust everything on the seats electrically uh, the side support the lumbar position and yeah any other positions so i feel really good like it hold me in the arms also you can see the ambient light here in the center console here on the side we will talk about that in a separate video but the grip on the steering wheel um, the, the position of driving it's extremely good good visibility outside on the mirrors good visibility on the windshield even in the back on this middle mirror uh, so <laughs> and even in efficient mode the car feels pretty quick when you press the acceleration um, I like the pedals quite quite good quality and smooth and I love this position of of staying here I mean the, the feet and uh, the legs are in perfect position really good good position good visibility on the screens uh, you can see the head-up display I don't even need I don't even think you need a head-up display to be honest because you have those information here pretty clear oh, oh, oh. wow it stays extremely good I feel the grip on this X-Drive, the grip is phenomenal, but the, the engine is quite silent, you barely hear the engine inside the cabin, it's extremely, extremely quiet, so the sound insulation from the engine to the cabin is good, um, it's fun to drive, I tell you, it's fun to drive, it's been a while from when I, when I drive uh, a car in this class, so uh, subcompact, so compact, light and fun to drive. Oh boy, I like it. This car really remember me of how is to drive a, a good IC internal combustion engine car. I will miss this feeling. Also the transmission, the seven speed dual clutch transmission, it's extremely good connected and it works quite fine with the, with the car. I test it also today I drive the car a little bit today and it, it's extremely good now what I forget to do is to reset the consumption and I did it now so we can see also what kind of consumption we will get as we drive now right now we are in efficient mode that's clear but I will switch also to sport mode a little bit later if you need boost you can pull this just like that uh, this pedal for a few seconds and then you have 10 seconds of maximum power and the car will switch to sport mode and it will give you the the maximum power even though if you are in efficient mode so for example if you want to pass other cars on the highway or wherever you just pull it for three seconds it gives you 10 seconds of maximum power and then you can pass the cars and you have maximum power that's much better than going into the menu and then go to switch to the sport mode and so on so extremely extremely useful stuff i like also those pedals even though they are in plastic they they, they look nice they feel nice um, they give you that sporty feeling start stop engine system and so on all this new technology it's here we will test also the autopilot on the highway a little bit we will go out on the highway so we can test this as well I like it I, I really like the car I knew from bef before that this is a, a fun to drive car so I I was I was a little bit excited before I get the car it is indeed quite expensive but if you have the money man it's totally deserved totally deserved to get this this car yeah as i said it's pretty silent inside the sound insulation seems to be good not too much noise come inside from outside suspension it's a little bit stiffer and i definitely felt it's kind of hard to to compare because i don't remember exactly how was the the previous one series it was a long time when i drive it but it seems to have a pretty good stability and it seems to stay extremely good in the corners I like the way it set up the, the steering and the feedback to the wheels from the steering wheel it's almost perfect it's almost perfect the stocks everything it's so 
so good uh, in perfect position so good place we will go now a little bit on the highway so we can test also the autopilot and We can switch to sport mode as well if you want from here and then you go to sport oh wow you hear that right oh my god whoa whoa i miss that i definitely miss that i will definitely miss that in the future when we will Wow, immediately you feel the power, you feel a huge difference between efficient and sport mode. Uh, not only the sound that it's extremely pleasant, but also the, the gear shifter, it's, it's phenomenal. And you can hear how the car stays in standby. You can put also the, the gear shifter in sport and you hear immediately how the, gear, how the engine revs higher. Can change the gears from here man it's so fun man it's so fun I love it I love it I love it wow it's phenomenal and then if you need some boost you just press it wow wow it I have no words man it make my day make me happy today definitely make me happy today oh, it's the grip on the ground it's fantastic the feedback to the wheels lovely car definitely love it hear also some pops when you release the acceleration uh, love the sound oh man I want it home fantastic fantastic car Everything it's set up so good. And then you switch it to efficient and then everything it's so silent and nice and pleasant here. the roundabout oh, wow man the grip on the ground it's phenomenal it's extremely pleasant extremely pleasant four pistons brakes on the front ventilated cross drillet brake discs on the front ventilated on the rear two pistons fantastic brakes the stopping power it's it's insane 
Oh, you feel that? Ah, oh, man, I love it. Cool. It's insane. It's definitely insane. Ah, oh, let's turn around here. Let's see the turning circle. But in sport mode, the steering it's a little bit stiffer now. Yeah, don't catch up there, but you can see right here the reverse camera. Now maybe we are lucky and we can try out some acceleration if no car will come from there. 4.9 seconds. Should be fun, should be fun. I have to wait for this guy with the bike. Nobody's behind, so it's fine. So, yeah, great. So, <sighs> whoa, insane. A little bit delay in the beginning, but insanely insanely feeling <laughs> can you hear the exhaust ah oh, boy love the car love it definitely love it can try one more time lunch control but it's it's insane it's insane definitely insane we can do one more time let's do it one more time and let's try one acceleration whoa it stays so good so pleasant so pleasant to drive it's so fun it's so fun that i want to do it one more time and then we will switch to efficient mode ah, i can't get enough of this car it's for the first time when i feel like i want to extend the test drive you know? <laughs> it's for the first time when i feel like i want to drive more yeah, there are not many cars that give me that feeling. So I drive a lot of cars um, almost daily. I drive every uh, every day. Almost I drive other car, but there are not many cars that I feel like I want to drive it more. I want to extend the test drive. I want to feel a little bit more of this extremely insane feeling. So we can we can try one more time a launch control, but this time I want to activate it properly with the brakes as well so press the brake and then acceleration so let's see nobody comes so it's fine so now press the brake oh wow the grip is phenomenal it's phenomenal i have no words man Whoa, the way it's gripping the ground, it's it's insane, it's insane, it's insane. Also, it stays extremely good on curves. Yeah, fantastic. The setup, the suspension, everything, everything, it's extremely good setup. Love it. Let's go back to efficient mode. This is my favorite mode, basically. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. So that will will make our consumption a little bit higher, but oof, we we had to try that as well. And now you move in efficient mode. You drive in the city, slow, silent man you have it's like you're having two cars in one it's like having the advantage of having that extremely fun to drive car and sporty and look at the brakes are 
fantastic good and then you have efficient mode which the car will drive slow and silent and pleasant it's nice and you can see the head-up display with all those information the car have all the safety features that you can get from uh, the newest is BMW like uh, reading the traffic speed limit and even the traffic signs um, you have adaptive cruise control emergency brake lane assist um, and yeah a lot of sensors around the car crazy I like it I really like the car and I like so much the cars in this class to be honest because they are small and light and compact I don't know I like them really really much now we go on the highway a little bit and I wanna test out the autopilot so I can show you how it works Man, look at this, look how good it stays on this curve, this big curve. Whoa. BMW know how to make those sporty cars, they know for sure. Now, here on the left side you have those physical buttons from where you can activate the um, autopilot and from what I remember, why it's not working? I think I have to let me let me go to mode press the button to activate it okay now it's activated from here and then you you just choose the the speed for example 80 km per hour and you can see the green steering wheel and you can switch also the view here to see the driving assistant view system and then in the middle you can see the car, your car, the car in front, it will stay between the lanes, it will accelerate, it will brake, depending what the car in front will do. So um, I test it on other BMW cars, you probably saw my previous videos, you can see it also on the head-up display. It's extremely, extremely good, probably one of the best autopilot system uh, which you can get on the market these days. And I would have the hands here for safety, but keep in mind that the car is doing the job automatically it's steering uh, it will brake it will uh, accelerate depending what the car in front will do it will warn you you can see those LED lights on the steering wheel from time to time to have your hands on the steering wheel but basically it's doing the job for you so you don't have to do anything here if you want to change the lane the car will do that for you but but you have to have the hands on the steering wheel but basically the car is changing the, the, the lanes for you, look at this. You just give the signal, the car will watch and look, it's just switching, it's changing the lane automatically. Again, you have the hands here, but the car will do the job for you. So it's capable to change the lanes as well. So extremely good system, it's very, very close with what Tesla did and do these days. So look at this, even here, even here where it's a super hard curve, the car is still managed to, to go around the corners. Very nice. Very, very nice. Look at this, it's perfect. I have no emotion and this, is, this was a really hard curve here. And again here, the same story. Yeah, they, they are good. BMW is doing such a good job with these systems. Yeah, great job, great job, fantastic. Now, let me take the control. You can switch also here, the view again, put it the navigation, it's my favorite. And, oh, like so much the car. I really like it. I, I don't remember when was last time when I have so much fun with the car. Yeah, I think I don't remember. Ah, I think I know. I, I think the last time I have the Mini Countryman also with 2 liter 300 horsepower if I remember well. Kind of the same system. That, that was fun as well. But this one, because it's smaller, it's more compact. It feels like it sits lower, it has better stability. It feels more fun. Man, 
I think the sporty car should be in this kind of size like this one it is I mean not bigger than this not smaller than this I think this size is the perfect size to make the perfect sporty car I don't know it's just what I feel for for me personally because you feel a little bit more closer to the road I don't know as as a person as a human being I think or size with this kind of size it's the perfect combination between still feeling a little bit of of ground of I don't know the size the weight of the car it's just it's it's balanced it perfect like that anyway pretty pretty cool car I have no words the consumption I don't think it's really matter the way I drive <laughs> to be honest uh, it wasn't a test to see how much the car consume I will make a different test probably I will take the car for a different video where we test the consumption in efficient mode like a normal person will drive most of the time uh, but we have 11 now 11 uh, liter so yeah we can we can definitely not know for sure what should be the, the real consumption but yeah from what I from how I drive it, it is like that and you can see the ambient light it's also changing based on for example climatic system so if you switch the climatic system to cold or warm the the colors it's switching to that to that uh, color and yeah, not only that but also when you switch the driving mode the ambient light will switch man but I'm so impressed when you drive in efficient mode it's so silent it's so smooth it's so pleasant to drive the steering it's a little bit more assisted not extremely assisted it's still a little bit stiffer as BMW uses with and it's normal for a sporty car and I like that uh, but man it's it's quiet it's nice love it now the consumption is going low and we will see in the end it will balance a little bit with this normal driving here but boy oh boy this this is a fun car to drive I will try to review also the basis version or the other engine uh, so stay close if you want to see that as well Even here you can activate this very simple like that the autopilot and then the car it's working also here in the city as long as the lanes are visible uh, the car will do a good job and also in the traffic it's extremely extremely um, useful when it's a lot of traffic Yeah, the suspension are stiffer, but in the same time, you don't feel that harsh in, in your body, in your back, in your... Uh, it's really hard, but it's stiff, but in the same time, it's pleasant, if that makes sense. So they somehow, somehow the quality is pretty good. But in the same time, you can feel the road and the bumps and everything, because this is the... This is that sporty feeling that people looking for. It's 
so let's let's park the car you know basically I want to show you how the car is parking automatically but here will be a little bit hard because we don't have too many parking places to do that maybe I don't know maybe here we can try that let's see if that will work press the park and if you press the park start reversing no park assist nah I don't think that will work I don't think that will work I will probably make a, a separate video with that I already did with uh, other BMW new models so if you want to see it it's already on the channel probably I will do it in the future but yeah for now I think it's it's more than enough probably I will do a separate video when I have more time with the car but yeah otherwise it's easy to park man I mean you have big mirrors fantastic cameras and the car is capable to park itself and also to move back on the track that you were before so yeah love it anyway fantastic car put it in park just press this park button consumption it's 10.4 liter but i drive like crazy man almost like a crazy man but a little bit aggressive let's don't exaggerate it it's incredible and yeah if you're in switzerland around switzerland you want to test drive you want to see the car buy the car definitely check out auto care i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are nice they will help you with everything plus you can see the car there and you can see all the new models from BMW. So guys, that was the video. Don't miss out the full review with the same car, interior, exterior. We will talk about everything, space, material quality, and so on. So definitely check out that video as well. Thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos. Really appreciate. So thank you guys. I hope the video was useful. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Stay safe. And as always, we see us in the next one. Bye guys.